What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're actually getting a quick look at the Pokemon Masters, the new mobile game that's coming in, I believe it's late August. Uh, so, turns out you can actually start playing the game. I don't think you can get very far, but, um, so essentially, the way to, if you do want to download this, essentially all I did was go to Koo App, and I did use a VPN to, uh, basically show up, make me show up as if I was in Singapore, where the game is actually available. Um, the, there's a bunch of different VPNs out there, if you don't already have one, um, I recommend just doing a quick google search i don't know like the which one's the best right now but the one i happen to use because i already had one i've had one for years is uh private internet access i think it's called or pia uh, but yeah just set up a vpn um make it so that you're coming from singapore ip and then you can download it from the Koo app and now we're already in game so let's just take a quick we're going to go through the uh the intro of the game and uh, kind of give you my thoughts about uh, the new Pokemon Gotcha game and uh, I do have some experience with the Gotcha games and I have very uh, mixed feelings about them but let's start just see what we have so we're talking to blue right off the bat turn my volume all right I almost forgot my name. All right. Let's see. <laughs> what do I look like? Oh, okay. So I guess it's just starting with skin color. Uh, let's go with this one. See what the females look like. Okay. What else can we customize? Eye color. What color eyes do I have? Okay. Hairstyle, even though you're wearing a hat, sure. Oh no, hair color. Alright. And are you sure this is how you look? You can change your appearance later. Sure, why not? Alright, blue, what's next? <laughs> There's a nice ring to it. I agree. Pokemon Master League, PML for short. So, uh, if you haven't played a gacha game, essentially the way it'll work is when you start the game, things will be pretty easy. Uh, but then at some point, depending on which game, maybe it'll happen sooner or later, it basically becomes like a pay to win or at least pay to be at the top level kind of thing. And uh, all right, looks like I'm already in control. Let's go talk to Trisha. Wow, well, as far as gacha games I've played, like this is very uh, immersive. Uh, it feels pretty menu light so far. Nice to meet you. Hello, Trista. Ah, so I have Pikachu already. So you'll be needing one of these. Oh boy. A Pori. Pori phone. I love that. <laughs> it looks like I uh, got just a, a phone with a Porygon case. Multi purpose information device. Alright. Sync pairs. Yeah, so this game appears to revolve around sync pads, which is kind of like the trainer and the Pokemon combination. And let's see who we meet for our two pair. Ah, oh, it's Brock and Misty. Didn't see that coming. Uh, so you heard about looking for a team. Raring to go. Alright, so actually, I feel like this is a good point to kind of like stop and just look at this. So, one thing that jumps up, alright, the Misty and Starmie is a three star, and that's essentially what gotcha games all are, ha usually have. For a lot of them, like the one to two stars, basically stuff that you can get for free, and then like three stars is kind of like the baseline for when you do 
summon or basically do whatever the gotcha part of it is and basically you're paying money or like the in-game resources which will deplete itself surprisingly fast to get like the four and five star stuff uh but the part's not clear to me is whether we're looking for the pokemon or like the trainers or both or so we've yet to find that out and all right now we got brock too brock and onyx another three star I got trouble in center city. This is a reward. <laughs> My reward is trouble in center city. All right, let's see where we go next. Okay, let's see. Let's talk to Misty real quick. Just see what happens. A lot of traveling, Casio. Ever since she teamed up with me, which was like ten seconds ago, felt like my Pokemon and I have become closer than ever before. <laughs> Ah, I do have that effect. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing Brock's around here somewhere? Oh, who's this? Ace Trainer. Amazing. Hmm. So... I wasn't sure if that was alluding to some kind of like energy system. So a lot of gacha games, essentially, you can go do missions and stuff, and you have like an energy count, and it basically comes uh, uh, restores over time, kind of thing. But it's unclear to me if that's what she's talking about. Mountains in the ruins. All right. Who are you? Another ace trainer. Okay, so that's what speed's about. So speed is for charging your attack. I wonder if something about running can increase your speed. Healing and raising stats. I'm not really good at attacking. I wonder if these are potential people that you can work with. Let's just see what we got going on here. Bag is empty, settings other. Alright. Let's go exploring. Co op. Main story. Excuse me. Alright, let's see what we can do. Trouble in cent Centra City. So my reward was a quest, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, Cynthia. Street thugs. Oh boy. And a punk girl. It's Rosa. Complete. What, what did we complete? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So I'm guessing those gems is kind of like that currency that you use to do summons. And essentially, I'm guessing when you go through the story, you'll get a good amount, but eventually you'll finish the story and like the rate. So, like when you start the game, like you'll start with a lot and you can do a bunch of summons. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, to, for me to get the, the, the next new Pokemon they just released or next sync combo or whatever, you know, I'm gonna have to spend money. Oh wait, didn't really pay attention to what I just did. Looks like we're starting a battle against the punk girl. And where's that street thug? But so the... Oh, 
couple ace trainers appeared out of nowhere. So I'm guessing we'll fight, have to fight two people. Um, and the thing about these kind of games is like there's just power creep for to infinity and beyond essentially. Like there will always, every week or whatever uh, time period, the new, new Pokemon, new whatever will come out. And it's like, oh, you'll always want to get the latest and greatest thing. All right, so 3v3, you control each of your three teammates. Uh, the thing I don't see here is a lot of most games nowadays, like eventually they'll, you can do like just auto to just uh, so you don't have to do all this stuff. Uh, first try attacking your Pikachu with Thundershock. Right, looks like I attacked the, attacked the Litwick. Well, that took out a lot of it. Using move depletes your move gauge. Oh, towards the bottom. Tap on Brock's to use one of Onyx's moves. Great. Ah, okay, so let's we'll use one bar, one unit. And that will knock it out. Good luck. And it looks like we have potions to use. Our turn as well. Okay, so we share like this, um, I don't know, this action bar kind of thing. And so let's try bubble beam. Oh, so it is kind of like live or real time. And Golbats probably want Pikachu and one bar. So let's take care of that. Oh. Like stunned me for a second. And that should do it for him. So I think the trainer part comes into like each trainer, different trainers can have these sync powers with different Pokemon and actually we haven't used it yet, but we'll see how that comes into play. Do we have to deal with the thug next? Nope, oh, there he is. Ah, I like this music. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, each of every sync pair has a type that it's weak against. Oh, it tells you their weaknesses right above. I wonder if I would actually prefer if it didn't. Tap a Pokemon the opposite to target it. The border around this window will flash if you have a move that's super effective against a target. Cool. Try attacking with Undershock. Okay, so that one's Rock. Oh, they're ganging up on uh, Starmie. But yeah, usually there. I bet there'll be a. Actually, I think in one of the trailers I saw auto button towards the top, so. Complete! Okay, well, all of our guys level to level 5. Okay, so the Pokemon level up. I wonder if they have like IVs and that kind of stuff. All right, so let's take a look at this. So, yeah, so it can be used in shops. So gems is probably the thing you use to summon. Um, training machine used to learn new moves and passive skills. This looks like a quest. Um, used for learning moves and passive skills for unlocking Sync pair level caps. Interesting. So I'm guessing these are kind of like materials that you can just to make your guys stronger. And a lot of times, like that's what all the quests are going for. You just go out and do different things to get that. I'm guessing we'll get another sync pair with Rosa. I kind of doubt we'll get Cynthia. I wonder if she's... So I wonder if Cynthia is like, <laughs> oh, if you spend some money, I bet you can get her.
Are we not going to battle? Nope, we're going to challenge Rosa. So the thing I want to find out is if we do like a, a summon, how much it costs and that kind of stuff. Can we do anything here? Nope. Let's just go. Don't think about it, just go. I think I saw a flying type, so we'll just shock that guy to begin with. Uh, Snivy, I don't think we can do anything against right away. And Drift Bloom. Sync move unlocked. Here we go. Sync moves are powerful attacks that are capable of doing massive damage to your opponents. Every time you use a move, your sync move countdown goes down. Where is it? Okay, it's right in the middle. Seven. Alright, so let's do this. Do this first. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but uh, uh, usually it's just better to just knock something out. So maybe I'll just do that. I need to do that. Sync move, here it comes. Oh boy. Whoa. She's surprised it didn't do more damage to Starmie. I think we'll use your sync move. Here we go. Let's see what this does. Thunder of... Was that Newfound Passion? <laughs> what? These sound like more like names of episodes rather than a special attack. Snivy fainted. There we go. Alright, 30 more gems, and the more the merrier. I guess we're going to convince her to join us now. So it seems like there's like a main story route, and I'm guessing there's just going to be a bunch of like side quests you can pick up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now we'll be we'll be counting on you. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if there's any kind of like where if you say stuff mean to them, they'll you know react differently to you down the road. Might as well be nice and you on my friend Barry. Barry. All right, let's go find Barry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice to meet you. My name's Rosa. Ah, so this is a five star. Interesting. This one's quite strong compared to Brock and Misty. Alright, let's see. Maybe who should we replace? Professor Bellis. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Alright, now we'll check out the shop. This is the thing I'm most curious about. Welcome. Trisha, Trisha. Grand opening, okay. Shop. Yep, 
You can scout for new teammates, exchange your items, and acquire all sorts of useful things. First, let's just think pair scout to reach out for new teammates. Okay, here we go. We have 90 gems. This Jojo gym leader paralyzes your opponents with body slam. Okay, so it's kind of predetermined. What? Is that you summon? Drop the Porygon. Connect the phone via USB. It turns into a helicopter. And just like that. What the? Did it just lure a trainer over? My name's Whitney. Okay, we have a four star. Four star Whitney with milk tank. Collect your bonus level manual by visiting prison box. Love your sync. When you scout out a sync pair that you already have, their sync moves level up. Oh, okay, so it's one of those gotchas where you have to collect. Not only do you need to get all like the one you want, but then you need to get multiple of them to power them up. Seems to be what, like a lot of games do nowadays. All right, now we're going to Starbucks to Trinia. Trinia. Change the team. Why don't you try doing it now? Team, sure. Edit team. Oh. All right, Misty, you got to go. Whitney, you're in. All right. Application must restore in order to download the main story data. Actually, I think this is where the game ends. I believe we're going to be told we cannot advance. Let's just confirm that real quick. Ah, so I didn't feel like we 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 were not able to. Uh, ascertain the most critical piece of information like how much does it cost to summon how big is the pool of different sync pairs or Pokemon or whatever um, and how much it costs for like gems Actually, so this thing's gonna be downloading for just a quick second or for a little bit of time um, so yeah I'll probably just flash to the future be right back alright guys we're back so actually the game did successfully download the next segment so let's see what we do it's me Whitney Bad, you're happy, huh? I'm such, a, I'm such a cutie. I'm looking forward to more adventure today. Sure. Ooh, a hundred gems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? General news. Okay. All right, let's, uh, yeah, so though, um, one tip is if you do try this game, you know, even if, even if you're not sure you like it, just log in every day, you know, you do get, like, usually they'll just give you, like, little, uh, gift, not, like, login rewards, essentially. Um, let's see if we can go back to the shop and see how much stuff costs. I feel like that's, uh, purchasing gems. Here we go. All right, so, seems like scent gem per cent and you can save uh, like or eighty dollars for um, ninety eight hundred gems okay good to know let's see exchange items what is that uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet let's see if it can tell us how much a sync pair costs okay here we go so this is what we're looking for 300 so if you're to buy it at like the worst rate so it can only get better it's like three dollars um and you can save like 20 percent by buying that the most expensive package and so actually it doesn't say but a lot of these games like if you do the the 10 pull or for some games like 10 plus one um like so it's, if you do the sync pair scout times 10 uh if you do 10 in a row like it doesn't say but it's kind of like so that we saw a three star 
five star and a four star, I'm assuming more stars the better, is that a lot of times if you do like the multi summon, uh, you kind of guaranteed at least a four star. And then they'll have some kind of daily discount. Actually, let's see. Okay, so the five star rate is 7%. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Um, oh, we can actually see the. So you can actually see all of them. Alright, so it is. Um, unique pairs between trainer and Pokemon um, and 7% is not too bad alright so 100 for that um, yeah I'm thinking actually let's just see if there's any quests to do I highly doubt we can get up to 3000 Lorelei Leap 4. Back in the day, she was actually pretty tough for me. Oh, okay, very interesting. Alright, um, you know what, just to wrap this episode, uh, I'm wondering, I'm guessing let's just do a summon and then we'll continue the story in the next video. So let's go back to Trisha and see if we can get, get lucky, get a 7% chance for a 5 star. Let's go. I'll be very disappointed if it doesn't allow me to do a summon. But here we go, daily discount, let's... None paid. Do you want to use 100 paid? Wait, what? Oh, no, you can only use, um... Ah, okay, so it does say paid. So the daily discount only applies to if you buy gems. So we don't have enough money. <laughs> oh, this is so disappointing. All right, you know what? We're going to continue the story in another episode. But for now, uh, we'll leave it at that. So I'll just leave this with a couple of closing thoughts is... You know, I think everyone should definitely try this game out. If you do, log in every day, you collect resources, most likely it'll be, you know, actually I'm surprised we didn't get more gems to do more summons, although maybe we'll get it in the next chapter or something like that. But uh, just something to expect is constant power creep. Um, there'll be new, but usually like banners, where it's, oh, you know, this new pair just came out and it's really strong. And like, oh, you know, I really want that. But that's going to be like a weekly reoccurring thing, most likely. This is just how gotcha games work. And, you know, it's going to be very, not necessarily pay to win, but pay to be the top tier, to be, to be completing the most difficult quests and stuff like that. Usually with these kind of games, like, um, you know, you can get by kind of like in a free to play way to way of going um, and just be comfortable like, all right, well, all these events that come along, I'll just complete what I can. And if I don't do like those one or two last missions that simply I'm not strong enough that I need to, you know, do a lot of summons to to complete. Don't worry about that. Just kind of like get get the um, the resources, the currency that you can out of the events and then just wait for the next one, slowly accumulate. Uh, it's going to be most likely be, be a bit grindy, or at least that's my experience in other games, but we'll see how this one pans out. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, yeah, I feel like this game could be really, could be fun, but could be really bad for my wallet. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see how that pans out. As always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below in a comment. And uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, I'd appreciate if you did hit that sub button. We do tons of Pokemon uh, TCG content essentially daily. And uh, so that's it for today. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.